I'm Scott McDaniel, principal of the school, and I have turned on recording of this session because we have some really exciting news and would like to share it with you guys, but I'd like to be able to post it. So before we get going, I just want to make sure everybody's okay um, with us recording. If you're okay with us doing that, we can do a thumbs up. If not, I can turn it off. Um, in, in particular, I think, Travis, you're the most important person of this bunch. Okay, perfect. Okay, so um, I wanted to call a meeting. Travis, you're probably like, what in the heck is going on here? Yeah. Um, and so this is for good reason, okay? Our staff every spring gets together and we start talking about students that we are just absolutely amazed by. Um, as a part of that, we actually take nominations for our student of the year. And out of that process, we narrow it down through a vote to two students. And I am absolutely pleased to let you know that you are our student of the year. So Whoa. congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. So um, today to present, we have Ms. Moser and Ms. Trujillo, and they're both going to talk a little bit about um, things about you that we're really excited about. So I don't know who'd like to go first, but I'm going to turn it over to you. So what do you, would you like to go first, Afton, or do you want me to go first? You may. Okay. Well, um, so I've been, uh, you know, thinking about this, uh, what I wanted to say for oh, you know, at least a week, and I can't help but get teary-eyed just thinking about it because you are an amazing young man, Travis, and um, I'm going to miss you a lot, but I do have some things I, I, I wanted to, to write down because I thought, well, if I... Uh, if I just let my emotions get carried away, then I'd just be rambling. So I, I wanted to, to mention some specific things that, that I um, noted about you over the years. Mm -hmm. um, and I also have um, some remarks from Mrs. Mygat. Uh, she and I both um, really um, loved having you and we both wanted to say something and Mr. Hill as well. Um, so uh, I wanted to say, you know, um, so if your mom's there too, I wanted to kind of give her a little bit of background too that, you know, I've known Travis since he was a sixth grader. Um, I had him for three hours at one point and uh, for Cub 101 and um, uh, his uh, sixth grade block class. Um, historically, when I have sixth graders, they will go off when they become seventh graders and you know they are excited to meet their new teachers and make new friends and then sometimes i don't see them until years later and they'll you know uh, come up and say hi but uh that wasn't the case with you travis um it really was uh very meaningful that you would make a point to come and and say hi to me in seventh grade uh quick check-ins uh, I get some hugs, uh, and uh, and then last year, of course, you and I made the plans that you would be my uh, TA, and uh, we made that happen for this year, and I'm so glad that it was first semester when we actually had school, uh, yeah. so <laughs> uh, it just seems like a lifetime ago. Um, so Travis was one of my two TAs, uh, along with Anna Hedrick, who's also wonderful, uh, both of them, both of you did uh, crazy requests that were sometimes goofy. Uh, you were, uh, I, I always had my mind going in a million different places. Uh, you were a great door decorator. Uh, it's something I'm not really skilled in doing. Uh, you were a great uh, trooper when it came to checking off all those assignments and things like that. You were always just willing to do things with a smile and okay. Uh, and you were really invaluable to me and um, I, I, I loved having you. Um, also that I wanted to mention, you're more than just a TA. You came in, you would uh, interact with the students in the class. They always enjoyed seeing you come in uh, during second period. And, uh, and at this point, I have this you know, in my remarks, this is the hard part because this is where, uh, what really is meaningful to me as, a, as an educator. Um, so I've, I've taught, uh, it's hard to believe, I've taught thousands of students over the years. I've, I've been at this for about 15 years, and there's uh, 
a, a small number of kids that will uh, leave an indelible mark on a teacher's heart. And you're one of those students. Thank um, you. One of my, well, I've got a lot of many memories of you, um, but uh, especially, uh, and this, this one I, 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 I happened upon today. I had it written that I wanted to mention this, but the fact that you would leave little notes for me, uh, oh. that was just so wonderful. And I was going to show your mom some of these things like, you know, we love you. Love you. And then this one, when I walked in this morning, so I'm, I'm moving up to seventh grade. And so I've been, I had to move my things up to the third floor. And uh, I found this on my desk. And I, I just wanted to read it to your mom just to kind of get a sense for how uh, truly incredible you are. Hi, Ms. Moser. Me and Anna want to say thank you. I love you so much. You've made eighth grade memorable. You've been my favorite teacher. You're so kind and considerate. And your heart is full of joy. Love you, Miss M. And uh -huh. so, you know, I, I, I just, it, it, it's just hard to, 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 um, it's pretty amazing. Uh, in addition to the notes, you'd walk in, you would say things like, you know, I just love being in your room. Uh, he's, you would say, you know, you create such a warm atmosphere here. The kids love being here and I really enjoy being in here. And these were sixth graders and you were still just, you, you would make a point of telling me how much you enjoyed the atmosphere that I had in my classroom. Um, and then another thing that when I talk about this one, it really, uh, it, it tugs at my heart. Uh, you were one of the last students I got to say goodbye to on, on, on Friday the 13th, March. And uh, uh, the, um, the hug that you gave me is something that I'm always going to hold on to, uh, very meaningful, um, and, and that you were one of the last ones I, I got to see. Um, I think I kind of had a feeling that that might be it for the year, and, and that just made it more, more poignant that you were, you were there. Um, you're, you're a very rare individual, Travis. You possess this insight into people. You have a, 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 an inner quality that, that draws people to you, both students and adults. You are inclusive. You make people feel comfortable. Students look up to you. I know that you come from a really wonderful family. Uh, your sister's wonderful too. So your parents have done a phenomenal job. Um, and um, Lastly, I do want to say that I'm expecting you to come and visit me again in the I will. future. Um, and uh, uh, I, I just have appreciated getting to know you and blessed to have had you as a student. And I will really miss you. I will miss you too, Miss Mosey. And I want to be Mrs. My Gats now too. All right. Travis is one of the most compassionate teenagers I've ever taught. He never fails to reach out to students or teachers with care if he thinks there's a need. He just loves with his whole heart and mind and readily shares this with the world around him. I call that living with your arms wide open. And Travis most certainly does that. And we are the beneficiaries of it. Travis is also an honest, diligent, responsible student. He never fails to work hard, do superior work, or meet deadlines. He is unfailingly cheerful and positive in all his interactions. He was a student I knew I go to for help and leadership in the classroom when I needed it. As I re approach retirement in half a dozen years or so, I feel confident that Travis and others like him will impact the world in positive and meaningful ways that we can only imagine. Sign Mrs. Mygat. Thank you. Thank you. I think I'm, sorry. No, go ahead, Travis. Oh no, I was gonna I was gonna send uh, Miss My Gad an email saying thank you. She would love that. She would love that. So Travis, I am going to start by um, reading my nomination for you because just like Miss Mosier, I'm gonna tear up and get emotional through this. Your presence and your um, just bright light that you share with the world means so much to me. So 
Travis is a hardworking student who always wears a smile and gets along with everyone. He takes time to check on staff and peers to see how their day is going and always shares stories to make others laugh. Travis's involvement in <coughs> is that of a helpful team player, encouraging and motivating his teammates. Adding an element of fun to everything he does is one of Travis's strengths. I often see Travis and his friends sharing laughter and positive energy in the lunchroom, making the space a better place to be. Travis represents himself and the school in a positive manner, highlighting his strong character. Travis, there were days where you checked in on me just to ask me how I was, just to see what was going on. And there were days where I was happy and bright and all in, and those were great. And we had great conversations. And there were days where I needed you to do that and you didn't know it and you did. And there were days that you absolutely made a difference and turned my day around just because you came and helped me regain my focus and why I was here. And I appreciate you more than you'll ever know for that. Um, you watching you interact in that lunchroom and having fun and having a blast and being a kid just lifted me up and helped me remember why I'm here and why I do what I do. Our jokes with Mr. Clouser and our little pranks that we played with each other are something that I'll never forget. It was super fun. I loved watching you guys play tag in the lunchroom. And um, I'm gonna miss you, Travis. <laughs> you are gonna light this world on fire and do great things. And I am so proud of you. Thank you, Miss Miss Mr. Helio. You can call me Miss Afton. We've got it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So I'll just jump in. And I agree with everything. Well, 99% of what was just said by both these wonderful <laughs> ladies. Um, and uh, I don't know what she's talking about, something in the lunchroom. But anyway, um, <laughs> Travis, your sense of humor and everything that uh, Mr. Trujillo, Ms. Moser said is who you are. And, and um, I will not forget you as well. You, you brought joy to my life every day. And one of the biggest things that, that you brought to the community is your role modeling um, to your peers. And um, they just, you're just such a guy. And they've all said it. They've already said it all. I won't go through it all again. But congratulations. And um, you're it, man. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Kazi. Uh I agree wholeheartedly with everything everyone is saying. Um, all of these are reasons why you're just a natural leader and you have a lot of positive ways that you can influence others. Um, I'm excited for your future. You have a lot to uh, contribute wherever you end up. Um, I'm excited to, to see that and hopefully you'll come visit us. Let us know how you're doing. I will. So Travis, I wanted to congratulate you. It's uh, quite an honor to be selected for this and and I have to tell you, as I think about all the students in eighth grade who kind of stand out, you are right there. And, and I, I think that's unquestionable in terms of <laughs> just a positive personality, somebody that gets along with everybody, a natural connector. Um, you definitely use your powers for good on every front. Um, so, so I want to congratulate you. You are an amazing young man. Um, going into high school, I expect unbelievable things, and I can't wait to see you graduate in four years from now, um, going on to big stuff. So, so with that, we do have a certificate for you, which is here, and then also you get this really cool citizenship medal from us. So, um, with that, can we give Travis a big round of applause? Congratulations. Woo! <laughs>